Some companies, like insurance companies for example, have a lot of assets on their book, such as marketable securities or cash. And in order to compare companies that have real assets where we can easily, typically much more easily calculate the value of these assets, one ratio that's commonly used is the price to book ratio. The price to book ratio takes the market value of the stock of the company and divides it by the book value of the stock of the company. Um, in other words, the book value, which is the accounting value of the company on its balance sheet per share. It can also be done at the company level, taking the market value of the company and dividing it by the book value of the company, um, and that would give the same answer. Now, the price to book ratio basically is a calculation which looks at whether one can purchase a share in a company that has a lot of assets for less or how by how much more than those assets are for then for how much more than those assets are registered on the book. So for example, if the book value of the company is $100 and we feel very comfortable about the calculation of that book value, then an analyst or a portfolio manager might buy that stock if he can buy it at $80 and he, so therefore his, the price to book is 0 0.8. So he's basically buying the book value of the company um, at only at a market price of only 80% of that book value. The price to book value has particular relevance for companies that have book values that are ascertainable and also where we can feel that the book value actually has merit. In other words, where the securities, where the assets and the book value can be easily sold or a market value easily determined. For example, in the case of marketable securities or cash, which is the best example of that, but even in cases where, such as companies that have machine, a lot of machinery or plant and equipment that we feel we can determine the value of and that the company could ultimately sell if it needed to liquidate and therefore generate the cash um, that a cash level that reflects the book value that it's currently on the books for. The price of the book value is, is it takes only one year into consideration but because the book value um, is a more static item and it doesn't uh, it, it reflects the state is a snapshot of the company at a point in time as opposed to what happens over a year, uh, which would be the case with sales and earnings, the book value is much less volatile and contains a lot of information about that company um, at that point in time, where sales and earnings obviously depend on just one year's performance of that company. So the price to book ratio in the proper environment has a lot of merit, particularly for companies that have a lot of assets that can be easily valued and where the book value therefore has merit.